This meeting takes place every November in the settlement of slave descendants. It's a moment to relive stories of Brazil's dark and silenced past. Many say slavery is over, but we still feel its consequences and undergo a lot of pressure to leave the lands which are rightfully ours. 62 families live in this quilombo in Mangaratiba, 130 kilometers from the city of Rio de Janeiro. It's one of the 5,000 communities scattered around Brazil, built by former slaves. Many of them had run away, hiding from their masters. The 1988 constitution gave their descendants the right to claim their lands and keep their traditions, like small-scale farming. That's easier said than done. The Mangarachiba Quilombo has been at the center of a battle with an investment company that wants to build a resort on its lands. We'll not negotiate our history nor our rights. We're only here today because we resisted. Otherwise, we'd have been kicked out. Until recently, people who live here were not allowed to enter or leave the settlement freely. They were stopped at the gate, built by the company, and forced to hand over 50% of their produce. That changed when they were put under state protection. We stepped in because their lives were being threatened and are still at risk. The EcoInvest company doesn't allow the electrical company to install electricity in the Colombo. Edevaldo Felipe blames the lack of electricity for the death of his oldest daughter. She had leukemia and needed medicine, which had to be stored in a refrigerator, but we couldn't have one because we had no light. Earlier this year, the Mangarachiba Quilombo scored an important victory. The Brazilian state finally recognized its lands, which include landmarks of the settlement's difficult past. These are the ruins of one of many plantations in Rio de Janeiro that thrived until Brazil became the last American nation to abolish slavery in 1888. Yozona Domingos takes her son to the places where their African ancestors were forced to work. Slavery may have ended 133 years ago, and blacks in Brazil now outnumber whites. But the struggle for equal rights, she tells him, is far from over. Monica Yanaki of Al Jazeera, Mangarachiba.